Meanwhile, a lot of families say they're frustrated that playgrounds haven't reopened yet. We wanted to know what the science says about playground safety during this pandemic and exactly what the state and county rules are right now. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron is going in depth with local doctors to get answers. Yellow caution tape surrounds this playground in Choya's Lake. Cobwebs cover corners and padlocks keep swings stationary. The message at playgrounds across San Diego is clear. Play it safe by not playing here. Kids do get infected with COVID, just like adults do. Dr. Mark Sawyer is a pediatric infectious disease physician at Rady Children's Hospital. He says playgrounds with shared surfaces and little social distancing can become breeding grounds for coronavirus. And it's really hard to control kids in that environment. Uh, you know, the parents can have the best of intentions, but controlling a three or four year old and, and instructing them not to get near other people is a real challenge. Yeah. But active play is vital to kids' health. The American Academy of Pediatrics says kids aged three to five should get three hours every day and kids six to 17 get at least one hour. There are so many parts of their bodies and brains and social skills and emotional skills that develop from free play and playing with other kids, and moving their bodies and developing skills. And it just makes me so sad that they don't have that access. Dr. Jamie Friedman with Children's Primary Care Medical Group says it may be safe for small regulated groups of kids and parents to use outdoor playgrounds as long as they wipe surfaces and enforce distancing. The important thing is that they need to make sure they're washing their hands, not touching their face, and if other kids show up or other families show up, then you probably want to you know, get out of there. But right now that's forbidden, even if some people break this caution tape to break the rules. And nobody really knows when those rules will change. We asked the county, they told us to look at the state guidelines for reopening. So we poured through hundreds of pages of documents. The word playground is only mentioned twice. Once under guidance for campsites, which says their playgrounds must remain closed. The other in the new tier system where it says family recreation centers are allowed to reopen indoor playgrounds at 50% capacity once the county reaches the yellow or least restrictive tier. The only way to control this is a community wide effort to follow the guidelines, which are basically wearing a mask and staying away from other people. And if we do that, we're gonna win this battle. There's also a mental health issue with experts saying kids need outdoor play to help avoid anxiety, depression, and negative feelings. Rady child psychologist Brent Crandall says it's up to parents to get creative with play and find other outdoor options. We can take advantage of all the spaces near playgrounds seem to be open. The the uh, public spaces there, there's like hiking trails, there's um, the beaches, there's um, a lot of outdoor areas that, that take advantage of. Still, some advocates argue outdoor playgrounds are safer than indoor classrooms or dining, Today, both of which are allowed right now. Dr. Sawyer says that's exactly why playgrounds should stay closed to limit opportunities for community spread. Because there are so many children in such uh, close quarters. Uh, we don't need to add to that by opening playgrounds at the same time. Meanwhile, political pressure is mounting for Governor Newsom to create a plan to reopen playgrounds. This week, nearly two dozen California lawmakers sent him a letter asking for clear guidelines on reopening. San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner also tweeted his support for that idea. In San Diego, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. And more on that, officials from the San Diego City Parks and Rec Department did not comment for this story. But again, we reached out to the mayor's office, which told us Mayor Faulkner does want to see a specific plan in place to get those playgrounds back open. Now, if you have a story or question that needs an in-depth look, we would love to hear from you. Just email us at tips at 10news.com.